Hello, Bobcats and all of you other OCPS teachers out there. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more with BBB. And this is just one quick thing that you can do in Big Blue Button. One of the things I've heard a lot of questions about is how do we let all students show their webcam, show their microphone? How do we let them all talk at once? And how do we adjust those settings? And it's kind of complicated. So the easiest option is just to unlock students one at a time. So once I unlock a student, they are then allowed to use their microphone and their webcam and enable that. And directions for how they would do their side of that is in my video for students. But if you've got a bunch of students and you want all of them to have the option to be able to turn on their microphone or webcam at specific times, there actually is a setting for that. And it's kind of in a confusing place. And it also is kind of confusing in and of itself. But to find it, we're going to click the gear icon right here. And then we're going to go to lock viewers. Why it would be called Lock Viewers, I don't really know, because you would think that would actually just lock everyone in the presentation, but it doesn't. When we open Lock Viewers, we're going to see a bunch of settings that looks like this. Here's where it gets really confusing. Anything that says locked means that they cannot access it when they are locked. So participants will always come into the conference locked unless you have the moderator option on, but otherwise they'll always come in locked. If this says locked next to one of the features, they can't use it when they're locked. They won't be able to use it until you've unlocked them. So for example, if I want my students to all be able to turn on their webcams when they come into the room, I slide this over to unlocked. Now, when they come in the room, they'll be able to use it. If I want all of my students to be able to share their microphone as soon as they come into the room, then I'll slide that over to unlocked. So with the settings looking like this, all of my students, whether they are locked or unlocked, will be able to share their webcam, see other viewers' webcams, share their microphone, and send public chat messages. They will not be able to send private chat messages or edit shared notes until I unlock them. Also worth noting, if you wanted to, you could use this feature to hide the user list from other students as well. So if I didn't want them to see the user list, I now won't let them see it when they're locked. Really the best way to think about this is this is this option menu is really just backwards. So the things you want them to be able to do when they're locked, you leave unlocked. The things you want them to not be able to do when they're locked, you leave locked. Again, it's kind of confusing and it's kind of backwards, but this will save you a lot of time having to lock and unlock students repeatedly during a session. Once you hit apply, those settings take place, and now any of my students, even if they're locked, can share their webcam or their microphone with the group, which we can see by having Johnny turn his webcam on, and that will start to share right now. Surprise, Johnny is me. <laughs> I hope that helps out a little bit, lets you understand the way you can make some default settings change across the board for all your students. This will help you as you are uh, having more and more group participation and letting students work together in the main group. The biggest thing if you do this though is going to be to make sure your students understand how and when to turn on their microphones and mute their microphones as well as how and when to turn on their, mic their webcam and when to mute their webcam. Until next time, I hope everybody has a great day. And as always, if you have questions or comments for me, you can always reach out to me at bradley.treffler at ocps.net, and I'll be glad to help out with any additional questions you might have.